欢迎收看 Minutes Mandarin Level Two Chinese. After this episode, you will be able to describe an action that is taking place sooner or earlier than you expected. Some of you have asked how you can support these free lessons. You can do that by simply pressing the like or subscribing to this channel. You can also make a one-time donation or join my Patreon community. The links to my PayPal and my Patreon will be in the info section below. 我们上课吧 In episode 21, we learn the fundamental word order in Mandarin: subject, time, followed by action. A person at a particular time carries out an action. For example, 老板明天回来。老板 the boss, 明天 time, which is tomorrow, 回来回来 is the action, returning back, coming back. 老板明天回来 This is just a normal statement describing the boss returns tomorrow. However, if the boss is returning earlier or sooner than the speaker expects. We would add 就 before the action to indicate the earliness of that action. So the sentence pattern is subject time plus 就 followed by action. So the same example would be 老板明天 tomorrow the time 就 indicates earliness 回来老板明天就回来。The boss returns tomorrow earlier than you think. 哦，不是下个星期。老板明天就回来，不是下个星期。From this statement, we can infer that the speaker didn't expect the 老板's return until 下个星期 next week. 老板明天就回来。Let's look at another example. 学生们早上九点开始上课，可是老师们八点就得来开会。This is a rather long sentence. Now let's break it down. 学生们 ，the students. 早上八点 ，in the morning eight a.m. 开始上课 ，begin to have lessons or class. 可是 ，however， 老师们 ，the teachers， 八点 eight o'clock 就 indicates earliness， which means earlier than the students or earlier than expected. 就得 Have to or must, 来开会 to come and have a meeting. So the sentence means the students start class at 9 a.m., but the teachers have to be here as early as 8 a.m. 学生们早上九点来上课，可是老师们八点就得 require to. 来开会 ，and that's usually the way it goes. The teachers usually have to show up an hour or quite a bit earlier than the students to have a meeting or to prepare the lessons. When an action took place sooner or earlier than expected in the past, we add l at the end of the sentence. So the sentence pattern would be subject time plus 就 Followed by action and l. Let's look at some examples. 我们昨天八点开会。李老师七点半就到了。他好认真。Now let's break it down. 我们昨天八点。We yesterday eight o'clock, 开会开 is the verb means to hold or have 
Hui is meeting. So Kai Hui means to have a meeting. Never say Yo Kai Hui. That's a common mistake uh, many English speakers would make, thinking about having a meeting, so they will use the word Yo. So simply say Kai Hui. It means to have or hold a meeting. 我们昨天八点开会。李老师 ，Teacher Li， 七点半 ，seven o'clock， and 半 means half， means seven thirty， seven and half。九 indicates earliness， 到 arrive 了。李老师七点半就到了。Teacher Lee arrived as early as 7:30, earlier than you know everybody else. 他好认真，认真 means diligent with one's work or one's attitude about work. 他好认真 Another example is 我们下个星期考试。他昨天就开始准备了。他好用功，用功。Let's break it down. 我们下个星期 ，we next week 考试。考试 means to have a test, to test, test. So it's another verb object structure. 我们下个星期考试。他昨天 ，he yesterday. 就 indicates earliness or earlier than most of us. 他昨天就开始准备了。开始 to begin 准备 prepare begin to prepare 开始准备了了 because this is an action he st- that he started yesterday in the past. So there is the l at the end of the sentence. 他昨天就开始准备了 ，and here's the comment. 他好用功。用功 means to be diligent with one with one studies. 用功 means to be diligent with one studies. 他好用功